Hey there, it's on fire here, and welcome back to Persona 5 Royal Episode something or other. But uh we found out that uh Junior Kaneshiro is currently the uh person we're targeting. We have a palace that we're looking at. And now we're going to go ahead and investigate the area. Hey. Uh. Come on, man. Joker. Wait. Hey. Hello. find it. Kanashiro doesn't leave any tracks, huh? Figures it'd be floating. So, uh, how do we get up there? Can you turn into a helicopter, Morgana? No, just a car. You're useless! Come on! Don't you have some kind of secret gadget or something? Shut it! I'm not some robot cat! I mean, I'm not a cat at all! This may be the limit of what we can do today find a way to get up there let's think about it some more tomorrow okay all right we should get out of here for now run for it it's that woman who reeks of alcohol Some real shady connections. Shady connections. The real question to be asked. Where have I proving our justice isn't going to be easy? We'd better discuss this with everyone tomorrow. Hey, hey. 
Let's go ahead and get this. Not required, but doesn't hurt to have. Now, make sure that you do have a lover's persona. So we do have, I mean, Uzumi. So we are good on that front. So after that, we just go ahead and do a study. What do you want to do? Because there is an automatic class event with Anne tomorrow. Make sure you close up. Hey, hey. thinking lately about those phantom thieves I mean if dad were still alive sorry I I shouldn't bring this up while we're eating it's okay keep going I just wonder if he would have been on their side that's all the only reason you have time to think about that is because you depend on someone else that's not you don't have to do a single thing, and you're provided with food, clothes, a home. I've had no time to think on such ridiculous thoughts. Would Dad have been happy with them? I don't care. He died upholding some lofty sense of righteousness, leaving all his responsibilities on us. Uh, all I was trying to say was... Isn't it about time you grew up and acknowledged our situation? Right now, you're useless to me. All you do is eat away at my life. <sighs> Sorry, that was uncalled for. I'm just really tired. I'll be eating dinner out from tomorrow on. <laughs> I just remembered. Yeah, a lot of, a lot of shows about men thieves. I wonder, Anne. I wonder. Okay, I'm finished. This is it. Correct. No way. Oh,
ain't got nothing. Are we out of luck? It's no fair his palace is up in the sky. If only we could contact the real Kanashiro, huh? What do you want? Nothing in particular. I just saw you all together here. Huh, that's so. You seem to be having quite a bit of trouble. So you're here to check up on us? You may be the student council president, but when it comes to what we do, you're useless. Useless? Right now, you're useless to me. All you do is eat away at my life. To be frank, yes. Just stay on your high horse and watch. Or do you want to eavesdrop, since you're so good at it? <laughs> so you wish to get in contact with Kanashiro? That is what you were just discussing, weren't you? It seemed you just needed to find out where he is. Hey, you don't gotta answer her honestly! So, you're just, you're just the good girl good type that I push over. Right now, you're useless to me. I'm not. What was that? Fine. Not a short. I'll help you meet Kanashiro. What exactly is she planning on doing? She had a dead serious look in her eyes. Does this mean she has an idea as to where Kanashiro may be? I highly doubt that. I didn't like her stern face. Ugh, what is up with her? There are way too many people here. <sighs> We're never gonna find her. Hello? It's me, Makoto Nijima. Just stay on the phone and listen. Make sure you record the call as well. Huh? Who is it? Do you guys know Kanashiro? What? That idiot! What's she doing? I heard I could find someone named Kanashiro if I came to Central Street. Central Street? She's being too rash. What are you getting at? He's blackmailing the students of Shujin Academy, is he not? Tell him if he doesn't want me talking to the police about it, he better agree to meet with me. You got a death wish or something? He says he'll meet you. Get in. You better be taking me to Kanashiro. He said get the fuck in! Wasn't that... It's the guys that messed with us the other day. So they were connected to Kanashiro. Is she still on? Contact Kanashiro-san. Tell him we got a good one. Where are we going? Yeah, I guess we can't do anything to her if she's Kanashiro-san's customer. Hey, I asked a question here. Where are we going? We gotta go after them. Ryuji, get a taxi. I'll... Okay, I've got their license plate. My sketching skills have come in handy. Ah, shit, he ignored me! Damn it, I said stop! Ryuji! Hurry up and get in! Ryuji's gonna die. So, you're seriously the student council president of Shujin. You know what happens to anyone who snaps at me, don't you? So, whose number is this? Your boyfriend? What in the world? Who the fuck are you? Nijima-san! What the hell'd you do to her? Oh, I get it. You got followed, you dumb shits! Moly! That bag you saw the other day, the crocodile one, how much was it? 
about three million. Ah! <gasps> For real? Better thank those guys. What? I'm royally pissed right now. Can you tell? You know how spending money relieves stress? It's you goddamn brats sniffing around like dogs and barging in here like you own the joint. See this empty space? I'm so pissed that now there's a three million yen gap here. It pisses me off even more if I don't fill it up. I'm a perfectionist. So, good luck. What is that supposed to mean? Come on, you all look so tense. I think I'll call it debauchery of minors at a club. So, can I send this to your school? Uh, that's... Oh, damn, I got booze and cigs in the shot. Maybe some drugs, too. Ah, oh, this is so hilarious. I feed on dumb shits like you. Understand, pretty little student council president. Now listen up. Run your mouth to the police. And I'll break all of you, starting with your families. I want to give you the usual month. But, well, you have such a large group here. Three weeks. Bring three million yen by then, no less. Summer bonuses are around the corner, you know. It'll be easy if you beg your mommies and daddies. <laughs> now get out of my sight. I'm about to have some fun. What? To hell with that! Don't bother with him. Makoto's safety is more important right now. I mean, we actually technically have more time than we did. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to drag you in like this. <laughs> For real. I was stupid. I must agree. You should have easily imagined this happening. Hey, Yusuke! I was so caught up in trying to be useful. All right, enough of the blame game. What's done is done. I'm gonna cause trouble for Sis, too. Sis? My older sister has a commendable job, and she's a much more remarkable person than me. A lot happened after we lost our father three years ago. So it's just us living together. But I'm still a child. So all I am is a burden to her. Hmm. And that's why you were so reckless? I just wanted to be useful in some way to someone. You know, I might not get your whole situation, but ain't it a bit off saying that you're useless to her? It's the truth, though. In particular, I have to apologize for what happened to you. Huh? Now that I think on it, the truth about Kamashita must have been covered up by the whole school. I had my suspicions, but I couldn't do anything about it. No, I didn't do anything. Had I cared enough, I could have done something. <sighs> People like me must really be what others call scum of the earth. Real scum wouldn't call themselves that. Huh? I'm the same. It's just like you said before. I was closest to Shiho, but I didn't do anything. Besides, Kamoshida's the one to blame. Shiho understands that, and I do too. Takamaki-san. You didn't have a place to belong either. Isn't that right? Me either? We won't let anyone fall victim again. Now, what should we do from here? I'll do something about the money. So can we please just drop the case with Kanashiro? No can do. We're all caught up in this. We can't have you rushing things on your own anymore and making the situation worse. If only we could do something about that bank. Ryuji! Bank? Oh, right! The bank! She isn't useless at all! She may be our key in! Hear me out, you guys. Our key in? What do you mean? A cat? Um, are you all okay? We've become Kaneshiro's targets. That means we've become customers of Kaneshiro's bank. I see. 
The reason why we couldn't enter before was because we weren't considered his customers. And wouldn't you say that she in particular is a special customer? Let's take her with us. She is responsible for our current situation. Whoa, I don't follow this at all. She risked her life doing something so reckless. At the very least, she has the right to know. Won't you come with us? What? Wait, to where? Yeah, where are we going? Beats me. A canine? It's Fox. Be quiet. The shadows are going to notice us. A monster cat? I'm not! That's Morgana, the cat that was in his bag. This is what happens when we come here. That voice... Takamaki-san? Where are we? We're inside Kaneshiro's... Uh, well... The world inside his heart. What? It's another reality in which Kaneshiro's distorted desires have materialized. Another reality? It's floating in the air! This is reality? My goodness. I'm sorry, it's just... Okay. But since this really exists, I can't doubt it. A reality that one's heart shows. Is it like the application of optical illusions in social cognitive psychology? That's something we have no idea about. I see. So stealing one's heart, that may be like overriding their cognition. I think I kind of get the logic behind it. Ain't she more amazing than you? We're about the same! Then... Does that mean there's an ATM version of myself somewhere in this world, too? Perhaps. Regardless, we can change Kaneshiro's heart and make him confess if we steal his treasure. If it all goes well, that is. <laughs> we'll make it go well. Everyone will notice us for sure if we take someone like Kaneshiro down. Our justice will also become resolute. Think we'd be able to give courage to those in need if it happens? For the sake of those in need, huh? You sound like my father. Your father? No, that don't mind me. You want to go to that bank, right? Let's go then. If I've become a customer of that bank, then they'll have to let me in. For real? It came to us! It's just as I calculated. You know how you can use your card to get into banks during after hours? I thought that I'd be able to get in, since I have the same identity as such customers. I'm kind of Shiro's source of revenue after all. Oh, that makes sense. But wow, this place is huge. I rarely gotta go to the bank, so this is making me kind of nervous. Being in a bank with costumes like these is so obvious. We are totally robbers. You got that right. It seems there will be a lot of shadows from here on. Huh? What's that about? Enemies attack us here. I see. I've trained in Aikido. Don't worry. I can defend myself. Self-defense won't do much good against shadows. But then again, it's better than nothing. We have to go in from the front, don't we? I'm an honorary customer, so I better act like one. I will be useful for you guys. Come on, let's go.
What business do you have here? I had a feeling this would happen. Come at us. No, no, wait! She's one of Kaneshiro's customers. I'd like to speak with the bank president. Excuse me, but do you have an appointment? I need to talk to him. Now let me through. Let him pass. That voice. Yo, banks have presidents? Yes, but not the political sorts. In theory. Could I eat with this? Unauthorized entry, property damage, and other disturbances. That comes to three million yen in total. You're here regarding that, correct, Miss Beautiful President? It must be quite tough gathering so much money. I'd be willing to give you a loan, you know. You gonna call it off then? No, a loan. The interest rate is ten percent a day. 10% interest a day, um, uh, that means uh, one day is, it's 300,000 yen. There's no need to be alarmed. I have a more manageable option for people like you. That was your plan from the beginning, wasn't it? Quite the impressive insight, Nijima-san. Or should I say, the younger sister of the beautiful prosecutor, Sai Nijima. How do you know that? Please don't underestimate our intelligence network. My, what wonderful goods have come falling into my lap. Don't be ridiculous! Young women are such great assets. They lack strength, be it social, physical, or mental. It's as if they only exist to be devoured by the strong. That just might be the rule since the dawn of history. You truly are despicable. You better be ready, Kanashiro. We're gonna snatch your treasure from you. Don't make me laugh, you petty thieves. My citadel has the highest security installed in it. Anyone will do anything for money. I'll rob you of your lives as easily as I breathe air. <laughs> Get them. It's Mr. Kaneshiro's. Come. Go down. Let's go. I lend it. Not bad if I say so myself. Let's go. Ravage them. Nope, none of that was. Sona. There. I don't 
feel weakness. Dark lightning gun. Listen to that. Let's do this. How about this? He just has no weakness. Separated from us. One second, I'm just gonna heal. Kaneshiro. Those would be my words. However, I do thank you for providing me with such wonderful goods. It's time you disappear. <laughs> Managing a bank is tough as it is, so it's my policy to kill clients who are more trouble than they're worth. Having one impertinent brat disappear is enough to set an example in that other world. Please, stop! Oh, I wouldn't damage an asset like you. They're dead men walking, but you'll be just fine. Your sister is quite a beauty, though. I'll make sure to make her my personal slave. Once I get bored, I'll just sell her off. Oh, poor sis. She could have been successful, if only her younger sister wasn't so dumb. My sister has nothing to do with this! Then you better start taking customers tomorrow. 
All you gotta do is endure it, and do as you're told. Endure it. Do as I'm told. You'll learn three million yen in no time. Although your life and everything along with it will be a complete wreck by then. <laughs> I've been listening to you go on and on. Shut your damn mouth, you money grubbing asshole! <gasps> Have you decided to tread the path of strife? Yes. Come to me! Very well. Let us proceed with our contract at once. <laughs> I am thou. Thou art I. You have finally found your own justice. Please, never lose sight of it again. This memorable day marks your graduation from your false self. What the hell?! A persona? No, dude. That's a bike! I can feel it. Myself. Me. Got it. Wow. Nice. What is that? I've never seen anything like it. You better earn your keep, or else I'll kill you. I will not lose heart again. Ever. I'll go full speed, non stop. Right, Johanna? <laughs> Don't get all cocky just because I normally behave myself. I am done playing nice! Let's go, Johanna! Full throttle! The enemy's agitated. Take them down and make an opening. Persona! Get in now. Our objective's been accomplished. But how are we getting out? There's only one exit, right? So, you're totally the fist of the Phantom Star now, huh? Do you want to get smacked? I'm going on ahead. 
So follow me. Damn. Okay, we have a path. Get in. So you'll stand against me no matter what. Very well. I'll wait for you all. There's no escape in reality. Nor will you break through the security system here. It doesn't matter what you do. You can kiss your bright futures goodbye. Man, talk about wild. That was no Aikido. That was some hardcore ass whooping. I am so not pissing her off. Feel like she'll rip off my arm. She does exude that aura. Oh, stop it. This is the most exhausted I have ever gotten these past few years. But it felt pretty great. I never thought I'd become part of the Phantom Thieves I was after. Sis might faint if she found out. You mentioned her earlier. She's a prosecutor for the district, and she's investigating the Phantom Thieves. Wait, ain't that bad? No need to worry. A normal investigation would never lead them to a world like that. Then again, it must have been fate for this to happen. What do you mean? I can't be like my sister. I had a feeling that there'd come a time when we wouldn't see eye to eye anymore. I'm thankful to have a sister who works so hard, but... There are times I feel sorry for her, too. And after hearing my persona's voice, I clearly understand how I feel now. It appears you're not as reserved as you make yourself seem. I was just doing whatever the adults told me to. Won't she be perfect as our advisor? She's fearless and has a sharp mind. Sounds good to me. We've needed someone like that for a while now. I'd be honored if I can help out. We had way too much testosterone anyway, so I feel much better. It's from Kaneshiro. He's reminding us of our debt. So the Kaneshiro over here doesn't know what happened inside the palace. That's right. But his palace will be affected if the real Kaneshiro's cognition changes. We can't be lax. Seems it'd be best to avoid unnecessary contact with him until then. Three weeks left, huh? There's that security system, too. But if we pull this off, it'll definitely be great! We'll crush him like a fly. I'll make him regret making me angry. Anyways, let's begin our operation tomorrow. First, we need to secure a route to the treasure, like always. You guys are finally starting to get used to this. I'll be waiting for the call to meet up. Steel horse I ride. I'm most certainly not. with each other until just a while but Ryuji's totally right we need to work together to overcome this okay nice hey Thank you. 
so you can't go out or do anything. So uh, don't worry too much about that. It's very important that you save. Is save right now. Like I I'm gonna show you guys. This. Like I'm saving right now. I mean, I'm going to end it an episode af after I explain this, but so save because there's two things in a row that you uh, that's nice if you get the that uh, is randomized RNG. You're going to be crafting infiltration tools, and then there's the chalk dodging event is tomorrow uh, in class. Uh, I don't think you're required to get the uh, the craft infiltration tool bonus, but I like to anyways. Uh, the chalk dodge is going to have a 66% chance of being successful. So, hopefully it's not like last time where I had to do it like six times. But uh, I'm going to end this episode here, and uh, I'll see you on the next one. Bye.